Ecosystem services are the way that ecosystems provide benefits for people. So it's the work that ecosystems do for our sake. Providing clean water, clean air, a stable climate, protection from floods, all those good things. And all for free. Earlier this year, the Davis Suzuki Foundation attempted to inventory the true value of the fields, the farms, the forests, the wetlands and rivers. We found that Metro Vancouver is sitting on a Fort Knox of ecological value. Some $5.4 billion worth of ecological services are provided every year. It's about $2,000 per person. Putting a price tag on the services provided by Mother Nature is an emerging science. Market cost is the simplest way, by estimating the value of lumber, for instance, if a forest was cut down. But this method doesn't take into account what are called the non-market values. This forest that we're in right now, these trees are helping to fight climate change. They're sequestering and storing millions of tons of carbon in the biomass of the trees and the deep organic soil pools. The roots of these trees are helping to filter, store and regulate water. And then of course there's all the recreational, psychological and for some people even spiritual benefits of spending time in nature. Collectively, all of these benefits are helping to sustain the incredible well-being that's found within the region. Putting a value on spending time in nature is often done using the travel costs method. You try to account for all of the inputs that a person puts into enjoying an experience. So if they're paying for the gasoline, they're paying for the insurance on their car, and they're missing out on work time to come down here and enjoy that, that must be because they value this experience more than the cost that they put into it. A third formula that's widely used is called the replacement cost method. One of the most famous cases of that is the Catskills watershed, where New York was faced with the decision of how to ensure that their water supply was clean enough to meet water quality standards. And they were faced with the choice of building a water filtration plant to the tune of somewhere between four and eight billion dollars, or protecting the watershed itself by both buying lands and then working with farmers and other landowners to improve their practices on the land. And so, since we would have had to have built a water filtration plant if we hadn't protected the watershed, then we can say the value of the services that are provided are actually several billion dollars. Estimating the value of ecosystem services gives us a way to make decisions now. There is certainly um, greater stress associated with uh, a climbing population as well as the first effects of climate change in the region. So this is why we need to take ecological health seriously now. For instance, if we put a development near a wetlands and we lose the value of those wetlands, everybody will end up having to pay for it in the form of added storm sewers or, unfortunately, if it's not done well, flooding. If we don't take care of the systems around us, well, they can't take care of us. Those systems include the insects, birds and other animals that live amongst us. Protecting, or in some cases creating ecological corridors to connect our green spaces, may be essential in protecting biodiversity in the region. Ecological corridors are important because we need to connect up the large green habitat spaces that we already have. That will allow wildlife and plants to move between those spaces, which increases resilience of those species. Biodiversity is directly related to ecosystem services. When it gets degraded, those services also get degraded. So by connecting large green spaces up together, it makes the whole system more resilient to human-made drought or climate change. We are part of the biodiversity, and as a consequence, we are consuming all of those ecosystem services that are provided by nature every single day. So we have to take stewardship over them if we want to maintain this incredibly high quality of life that the Lower Mainland is blessed with. People are a part of nature. There's just no denying it. We, we interact with ecosystems in so many different ways, and we're cut from the same cloth. We're not separate. I think that would be very helpful to get away from the us and them mentality by recognizing that ecosystems are critically important parts of human systems.